Good evening. We're glad you were able to join us tonight for the nursing pinning. I'm Tina Holly, and I'd like to start with A Nurse's Creed by M. A. Haggerty. Let me begin today with your blessing to provide care for those who need me. Give me the patience to listen, intuition to see beyond the visible, knowledge to practice the art of nursing, and the attitude to deliver care with humility. Help me to see every patient clearly, unbiased, and with individual respect. Help me to face fear and anxiety with kind words and a gentle touch. Help me to see the joy and the wonder that each new day brings, and let your healing light shine through my hands. Now I would like to introduce the president of Dabney S. Lancaster Community College, Dr. Renoni. Thank you very much. Um, welcome this evening to this special ceremony honoring these wonderful nursing students. You've achieved a, such a huge milestone. Each of you know the personal commitment that it took. Time away from your families and from your children's school activities. I know that each of you and every one of you had many special people surrounding you that have helped you along the way. To parents, grandparents, spouses, and children, Thank you so much for supporting these students through their journey. For any college student, there are challenges along the way. The nursing programs are especially demanding with the coursework and clinical expectations that have to be fulfilled by these students. I know that they appreciate all you have done for, for them to help support them and help them to be successful. To the students, your profession demands every single day that you are not only care for your patients, but that you care for their family members as well. You will, you will daily be a caregiver with healing hands and sometimes a protector for those who are unable to protect themselves. You are prepared for the rigors of making sound mental, medi health medical decisions and recommendations. I know that you have chosen nursing because you know that you can make a difference in people's lives. I would say to you, thank you. It takes a very special person to be a nurse and to care for others. On behalf of the local board, the administration, staff, and faculty at DSLCC, thank you for making such a tremendous commitment to such a tremendous profession. As we celebrate National Nurses Week, I would like to end with a quote from a great philosopher, Dr. Seuss, and I think it's appropriate for a nurse. To the world, you might be one person, but to one person, you might be the world. We wish you all the best in everything that you do. Congratulations. Hello, tonight I'm going to introduce our speaker, Deneen Davis. She's currently the inpatient units director at Carillion Stonewall Jackson Hospital in Lexington, Virginia. She has been in this position for one and a half years. Prior to this, Deneen worked as a supervising clinical team lead for the inpatient units at Stonewall Jackson Hospital. And then prior to holding that position, she worked in case management. Deneen worked it in the ICU at Stonewall Jackson as an RN for five years prior to that. Deneen worked for an LPN for 26 years prior to obtaining her RN. Deneen graduated in 1984 from the Stonewall Jackson School of Practical Nursing. After raising her three sons, she returned to school in 2007. She attended Jefferson College of Health Sciences, obtaining her associate's degree in 2010. She furthered her education with Jefferson College of Health Sciences, obtaining her BSN in 2013, graduating cum laude. She is a recipient of the Healthcare with a Human Touch Award 
and together uh, she has a combined 35 years of nursing experience in multiple areas of health care. Welcome, Denise. Good evening. I'd like to thank the faculty and the staff for inviting me to speak at such a special ceremony. I'd like to start by congratulating all the grandparents, parents, spouses, and children that are here with your soon-to-be nursing graduates. You survived. You survived their frustrations, their late night study sessions, the fast food because they had didn't have time to cook because they were busy doing homework and forming care plans. You are true survivors. Thank you. I have been a nurse for 35 years and as frustrated as I have been many times in my career, I can't imagine doing anything else. I started out as an LPN and when I first graduated, I couldn't buy a job as a nurse. I worked for one year as a CNA, and it was in this one year that I truly learned how to care for a patient. I've been very privileged to use my nursing skills in many roles throughout my career. I've worked in nursing homes, I've worked on medical floors, surgical floors, home health, hospice, ICU, which is my true love, physician's offices, I've done care management, and I've been a case manager. I've worked 26 years as an LPN, always vowing that I would return to school when my children were grown. It took my children to remind me, Mom, it's time. I returned to school in 2007. I went to school Monday through Thursday and worked every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for three years. It was one of the hardest things I've ever done. I felt like an old woman in a young person's world. I can remember everyone talking when I first started school about getting on Blackboard, and I kept thinking, well, where's the Blackboard? Little did I realize it was online, and it was how I got my assignments. It was a real struggle that first year. My husband wasn't sure if he would survive nursing school, much less me. Bless his heart. I made it, though. I graduated in 2010 with an associate's degree in nursing and I was so proud. I didn't stop there though. I had so much fun, I decided to do it another three years. I went back and got my bachelor's of nursing in 2013. Um, again, my poor husband. He would help me study for tests and of course, you know how hard some of the medical terms are to pronounce. I would laugh at him and he would give me that look. You know, the one that says, do you really want me to help you or not? I can guarantee you one thing. I didn't miss those questions on the test. Because of him, I graduated cum laude with my BSN in 2013. So again, thank you to all the family members who provided support while you completed your nursing education. The nursing students could not have done it without you. Well, nursing students, you've done it. You've completed all your English classes, your sociology classes, microbiology, anatomy and physiology, mental health, and statistics, just to name a few. You've created numerous care plans, and you've been educated on how to educate. You've learned all of the body systems, the normals and the abnormals, and you've learned how to medically treat diseases, acute and chronic. You have the knowledge base to begin your career. So what is a nurse? Nursing is defined as a profession within the healthcare sector focused on the care of individuals, families, and communities so they may attain, maintain, and recover optimal health and quality of life. Nurses pro provide care both interdependently, for example, with physicians, and independently as nursing professionals. For you, this will mean taking care of the whole patient. So what does taking care of the whole patient mean? It means that there will be times 
that you will work as a CNA. You will do the jobs that they do. You'll get baths. You'll take patients to the bathroom. You'll get them out of bed and up in a chair and walking. You'll give a hug to a patient who is upset. You'll hold the hand of the patient who is dying. You'll spend time with a lonely patient when you don't really have the time, but you know that they need that more than any medication. You will hold the head of someone as they are violently sick all over you and never say a word. You will educate not only the patient about their health and disease process, but you will educate family member upon family member upon family member. You will be the eyes and ears of the physician, the advocate for the patient when they are unable to advocate for themselves. In your role as a nurse, there will be times that you are the dietitian, the respiratory therapist, the physical therapist, speech therapist, occupational therapist. You'll be a case manager, a lab tech, a housekeeper, and a security officer. Yes, we really do it all. You will take a job working eight or 12 hour shifts, and those shifts will turn into 12 and 16 hour shifts because you just couldn't get everything done or there's not enough staff to cover the next shift. So you stay and you help out. There will be long, grueling days when you don't get to go to the bathroom, much less take a lunch break. And yes, many days it will be thankless. You will get yelled at for not answering the call bell quickly enough or taking too long to bring a patient for pain medication. Families will demand that you take care of their loved one before all others, even if you're on your way to a code in the next room. You will get body fluids all over you, so word of advice, carry an extra pair of scrubs with you at all times. One thing you don't get to do is play cards. <laughs> For all the negative things you will encounter, there will be that one patient who will look at you with so much love and appreciation in their eyes and a thank you on their lips that you will forget all the bad. There will be that family member that tells you how you made their loved ones last, last hours so peaceful and they are grateful. There will be that co-worker who tells you I couldn't have made it through this shift without your help and you will have that boss that says job well done. Tonight you will receive your nursing pen and Friday you will graduate. The only thing remaining between you and a career as a nurse is state boards. You've done it all. You are a nurse. You're ready to go out and conquer the world of health care. One more word of advice. Continue your education. Never stop. And don't wait as long as I did, 26 years. Do it now while you're still in school mode while everything that you have learned is still fresh in your mind. Furthering your education means more opportunities within the nursing world, but most important, it means knowledge. It means knowledge to be the best nurse that you could possibly be. So congratulations and good luck in your nursing career. Good evening to you. It is my honor to recognize the faculty of the Dabney Lancaster Nursing Program. As I do this, I think back on the history of nursing at this college, and I thank all of you from the bottom of my heart for the great work you do, for the way you represent our college, not just here in the Allegheny Highlands, but across the state and across our nation. Not all of our faculty are able to join us on the stage tonight. They have other duties. But as I call your name, please rise. Tina Hawley, nursing program head. Beverly Cleek. <laughs> Beverly Ellis Smith. <laughs> Terry Harmon. Laura Meadows. Karen Hersinger. 
Jeremy Brookman. Carla Dobbs. Pam Dressler. Sharon Schrader. Martha Snyder. Carolyn Snyder. J. Nicole Steed. One more round of applause. My thanks to all of you. I want to welcome you all here tonight. This is a very special night. Um, and basically, um, my part in the program is to explain um, the difference in the two programs. Um, on my right, I have the 2019 LPN class. This consists of three semesters um, in which they learn to um, holistically deliver health care and to be a member of the health care team. Once they have completed it, these students are um, given a certificate at graduation. And hopefully by the 1st of July, I have 20 LPNs. Okay? So families, it's not over. They still have to study. On my left, I have the RN class of 2019. They um, com complete four semesters. Once again, it's holistic care. They're assessing patients. They are the ones that are going to step up and be the charge nurses and delegate to others how to, how to make sure that the patients are well taken care of. Upon their graduation, hopefully by July 1st, they will take the RN NCLEX, which is the national boards, to be a registered nurse. So families, it's not over. Hang in there. Keep continuing to support them. They have between 6,000 and 10,000 NCLEX questions to answer between now and the time they take their boards. You see your family member here, and I see young women and young men that have faced so many struggles and they survived in spite of it. And I am so very, very proud of all of you. Pledge for nursing to please rise. Would the graduating classes please repeat after me? I solemnly pledge before myself, before myself, myself before God. Solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly and the presence of this assembly to practice my profession faithfully. To practice my profession faithfully and devote myself to the welfare of those committed to my care. I will abstain from whatever is deleterious and mischievous and will not take or knowingly administer any harmful drug. Any harmful drug. I will do all in my power. I will do all in my power to maintain and elevate. To maintain and elevate the standard of my profession. The standard of my profession. And will hold in confidence. And will hold in confidence all personal matters. All personal matters committed to my keeping. Committed to my keeping. And all family matters, and all family matters, coming to my knowledge, coming to my knowledge, in the presence of my profession, in the presence of my profession. Uh, 
I'll now offer the benediction, a nurse's prayer. Give to my heart, O Lord, compassion and understanding. Give to my hands skill and tenderness. Give my ears the ability to listen. Give to my lips words to comfort. Give to me, Lord, strength for this selfless service and enable me to give hope to those I am called to serve. Amen. I'd like to introduce you to the LPN and the RN class of 2019.